Hi guys, first of all I want to thank you all for 10,000 subscribes. You all are amazing and thanks for supporting me with your likes and comments, that's the reason why I share tutorials every day and be sure that I won't stop this content. And as I promised, I will give away RSMB Pro plugin to all of you. Just make sure to write me on Instagram to get your RSMB Pro for free. Thank you again and now let's begin with this cool effect. Make sure you are at the very beginning of your clip and then go to composition. Then save frame as and click on Photoshop layers. Rename it to clean and save it somewhere you will find it easy. Go to that folder where you have saved it and open that Photoshop layer. In Photoshop make sure to select the image and then grab a remove tool and remove the car from a background. Make sure everything looks cool and the image is not messed up. If it messed up, simply clean the image in Photoshop and then save it as PNG. Close Photoshop now and let's drop that image into After Effects timeline. Select your clip now and duplicate it. Move it above clean layer and rename it to car only. Toggle off your actual clip for a while now. Select car only layer and make sure you are at the very beginning of it and then right click on it. Go to time and select, freeze frame. Now we should mask out the car and foreground. Grab a pen tool and mask like in the video. Once you are done and your mask is perfect, toggle off car only layer for a while and then select clean layer and we have to make a hole on the ground. Grab a rectangle tool now and make a mask like this. Change mask mode to none so we can see the full image. Hold shift and press on one of the corner of the mask to unlock it and correct the mask. Once your mask is perfect, make sure to change mode to subtract. Now create new solid layer, rename it to whatever you want and hit OK. Toggle off solid layer and then grab a pen tool and mask the hole and a foreground like in the video. Now move car only layer below solid and toggle it on, then click on toggle switches slash modes and change car only layers track mat to a solid. Click on invert icon here to make the car visible. If you change the position of car only layer, you will see the effect is almost done. We have to make a few more adjustments and we are done. First of all let's get rid of this black line here. Select solid layer and play with the mask until it's gone. Let's check it. Everything seems cool for now. Let's animate the effect now and check it again. We can fix anything later as well. Select car only layer, then scroll forward a bit and press P on your keyboard to open position. Click on position stopwatch icon. Now scroll to very beginning of car only layer and move position down something like this. Select both keyframes now and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to graph editor now and make a smooth curve. Enable motion blur on car only layer. That looks way better. Now let's create walls inside the hole to make it look realistic. Duplicate clean layer and rename it to wall. Let's solo it for a second and open settings of this layer. Open masks and delete the mask on wall layer. Unsolo wall layer now and move it below clean layer. Now if you move it, you will see it's in the hole and we can create walls inside the hole. Move it until it looks realistic there. If the corners of your image is messed up, you can fix it with the corner pin effect. Now duplicate wall layer and move it on another corner. Using corner effect, correct its corners until it looks realistic. That looks cool, I'm happy with it. We can leave it like this or, match the colors of the ground and the hole. Add tritone effect on wall layer. Click on highlights eyedropper tool and select highlighted spot in your video. Now click on midtones and select midtones in your video. Select shadows and find any dark place in your video. That looks better I guess. Let's increase blend with original a bit. Then copy tritone effect and paste it on another wall layer. Let's check the animation and masks now and see if it needs any fixes. In my case my mask needs to be fixed right here. To fix it, select solid layer and play around with the mask and then check it again. Correct the mask until it's fixed.
In my case it looks better already. Now let's select all layers except the original clip and pre-compose them into one layer. Rename it to ground and hit OK. Scroll to the moment where the car is fully lifted up and cut ground layer at that moment. Move your original layer there now and toggle it on. Let's quickly check the animation. It looks cool but, let's add some camera movement effects to make it more natural. Create new camera layer. Cut camera where the ground layer ends. Enable 3D on ground layer and open camera settings. Open transform and click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons. Now grab a dolly cursor tool and zoom in a bit. Then scroll to the end of camera layer, right click on stopwatch icons and click on reset to bring everything to normal. Enable motion blur on ground layer. That's way better. Lastly let's add shake effect once car is lifted, I will skip that part cause I have already made shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.